Hello everyone, let's look at this series here. I am going to use the limit comparison test to show that the series is convergent. Um, how, how do we show that? We are going to come up with a simple series that we already know that it's convergent and then we are going to take the limit of the, the quotient of the two series. And you may you may ask why are we not using the uh, ordinary comparison test to test the convergence of this series? The reason is really because you have a lot of turns here besides the dominant turns. And so what happened is that when you have so many other turns there, it's more difficult to establish the inequality that will compare the two series. And so it'll be easier to use a limit comparison test because you do not really need to to, um, determine which uh, which series has turns that are larger okay and now so we are going to start by um, writing down the series that we are going to compare this original problem with okay so we are going to compare we're going to compare the series with um, this one here and all we need to use in general the strategy is that we are going to just <clears throat> just to just to look at the uh, the dominant turns and actually we don't even need the coefficient so all we need is the n square and then the n to the fourth so we are having n square and then n to the fourth which is a p series you actually cannot tell by just looking at the form that it has right now because we need to simplify it first so that we can see the form. So we simplify it, it will turn into 1 over n square. And so as you can see that that's a p series with p equals 2. Okay, so we say that this is a this is a convergent p series. It's really because, uh, why is it convergent? It's really because we have a, what? We have that P is greater than, it's equal to two, which is greater than one, okay? So now we are going to set up the limit. And so when we set up the limit, we are going to have a large quotient, right? So let's do that here. So that's a large quotient. And then we are going to get a smaller quotient at the top. And that's really just copying um, this <clears throat> expression right here, which will give us 4n squared minus n plus 2. And then in the denominator, it will be 3n to the fourth plus 2n, and then minus 7. Okay, so that's the numerator for the large quotient. And then the denominator, we know that's the numerator. Okay, so the denominator would be this uh, this. 1 over n squared right here. So we have 1 over n squared. Um, to compute this limit, we are going to just write the large quotient as a product so that we don't have complex fraction anymore. So we are going to get 4n squared minus n plus 2. OK, and then all over and then 3n to the fourth plus 2n minus 7. And then all that is multiplied by, now I will be multiplied by the, uh, multiplying by the reciprocal of this 1 over n squared. So I'm going to get n squared over 1. <clears throat> and so you know that we're, we got to distribute this n squared to all the terms that we have right here, right? So next step of the simplifying will now becomes 4n to the fourth minus n cubed plus 2n squared. And then um, 3n to the fourth plus 2n minus 7. Okay. And this limit is actually easy to compute. So all we need to do is to factor n to the fourth power and then we are going to see the result after doing that. So we are going to have the leading coefficient, which is the four, and then minus one over n, 
1 over n, right? 1 over n, yeah, n to the fourth times 1 over n is n cubed, and then plus 2 over n squared. And then same thing we are doing in the denominator. We factor out n to the fourth. So we are having 3 plus 2 over n cubed. And then minus 7 over n to the fourth. And so now because n is approaching infinity, and so those two quantities, the n to the fourth, are not equal to zero, so we can just cancel them. And so our limit problem actually becomes four minus one over n plus two over n squared. We have 3 plus 2 over n cubed minus 7 over n to the fourth. <clears throat> now, what happens is that uh, when n approaches infinity, all those fractions are approaching 0 because you have 1 over a large number, a number that's approaching larger and larger, right? And then same thing here, 2 over n squared, and n is getting larger and larger, and so on. So all those fractions are uh, approaching 0 as n gets larger. So we are having the limit as 4 minus 0 plus 0, and then th at the bottom it will be 3 plus 0 minus 0. And so all that becomes really simple. So the answer will be 4 over 3. And as you can see here, for <clears throat> for this answer for the limit, because this limit here is what? It's positive, right? And then also it's finite. And so what happens? Then now, by the limit comparison test, we can say that this series is... Um, will converge if our series, our P series converges. And so because our P series converges, then the original problem, the series also converges. So now write down the conclusion. So we can say that the series Okay, so just copying that. So 3 to the n, 4 plus 2n minus 7. Okay, so this series converges, right? Um, and then tested by the uh, limit comparison test. And then we're done with this problem. Okay, so that's it. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And then give me some support. I will continue to make more math videos in the future. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.